Hello, I just want to take you through this short guide on my graphics settings. I run a relatively low to medium uh, setup consisting of an NVIDIA 3060 GPU, an AMD Ryzen 5700X3D and 64 gig of DDR4 RAM. I opted for that because of the content and media creation that I do. Um, and as you can see in the top right hand corner, I'm currently getting around about 52 um, frames per second uh, here in the sim. So how do I achieve that and keep the sim looking good? As we can see here, it's pretty smooth. Uh, don't get any tearing and I don't get any stutters as well. And this is Microsoft Flight Sim 2024, which is pretty demanding. One thing I will say as well, this recording is actually using around a little bit more VRAM. So if you can see the VRAM at the bottom that is yellow, 8.4, sorry, 8.456 gigabyte. It's around about eight gig when I'm not recording. And actually when I stop recording, I get about three frames per second more in this. What's my maximum frames? Well, I, I, um, I cap the frames per second as 30. And then with the frame gen that I'll show you in a, in a second on top of it, that then doubles it up to a stable 60. If I was to take that off, I can get 70 uh, FPS plus. Let's just show you the settings. So as you can see, I actually run it in 2K, a 3060 on 2K on an ultra wide monitor. I use my NVIDIA DLSS super resolution combined with AMD FSR 3. Now, the time of recording, I was on SIM, or I am, on SIM Update Beta 2 for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. Um, if you're watching this and SIM Update 2 is out, this basically supports AMD FSR 3 for any card. And a massive thank you to Island Sim Pilot on YouTube, who was the one that brought this to my attention. But basically, this is frame gen for all. So you can see that I have AMD FSR 3 turned on. So where I cap my frames to 30, when I switch this on, it doubles my frames up to 60 and a stable 60. Uh, another feature here is the Exposure Compensation EV. This basically changes the lighting, the shading within the sim without having to use NVIDIA um, filters. And let's just get into a little bit more of the graphics settings here. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is on. I don't see a difference between on and boost, so I just left it to switch to on. My terrain level of detail is 100. I also use something called Auto FPS. I will do a video, a separate video on Auto FPS. So what Auto FPS will do is when I get over 20,000 feet, um, it will change my terrain level of detail to 200. So just so I get some great views uh, from above. And then when it goes under 20,000 feet, it drops it back down to 100 again my off-screen uh, terrain uh, pre-caching uh, is set to ultra loads of research around this um i no there wasn't somebody i just heard said if you've got 64 gigs switch it to ultra so i have displacement mapping definitely off that has a massive impact on my system uh, buildings trees plants rocks grass all set to high now you can bring these down and squeeze a bit more fps out of them but Microsoft Flight Sim 2024, one of the advantages is a beautiful sim. So I try and keep have that balance between FPS and a good looking sim. Uh, objects level of detail is 100 with auto FPS that goes down to 20 when I'm above 20,000 feet. Volumetric clouds, well, in, in the type of flying that I do, um, clouds are everywhere. So we set them to ultra. Now, this is an interesting one for me. Texture resolution is medium. Um, it saves on my VRAM. And I don't see a lot of difference between medium and high. Um, please let us know in the comments if you see that there's a lot of difference. But I don't see a lot of difference between medium and high when I'm running at 1440p. Perhaps if I was at 1080p, I'd see the difference, but not at 1440. Antistropic filtering 16 times. I've tried it at 8 times, tried it at 16. Again, don't see any difference. Water waves high again, you know, especially in the UK, you know, there's there's lovely rivers and there's the coast and all of that. It's nice to set them to high as we're coming into land. Shadow maps and terrain. So shadows can have an impact on your FPS. So again, if you want to squeeze some more out, reduce your shadows down. I see they look a bit jagged for me if I was to reduce them and a little bit flickery if I reduce them down anymore. And then the same with contact uh, shadows. Windshield effects on high, ambient occlusion on high. 
Hubat reflections 256, but Raymart's reflections off. They have a massive impact to my FPS reflections. So Raymart's reflections are off. Light shots high, depth of field high, motion blur is terrible. I hate it. It's off. Uh, the glass cockpit red um, refresh rate is set to high. Now the character quality, because I like to fly with my friends, I've set the character quality to medium so we can step out, say hi um, when we're at the airport. And the air traffic quality here is set to high with the traffic airport quality set to off because that can take some FPS. Road traffic and sea traffic set to medium. Um, it gives me a really nice balance, to be fair. If you've seen any of my uh, other content on any of my other platforms, you'll see when I'm landing, plenty of traffic um, there. And fauna set to off because I just don't need it. I'm not going to see it. So outside of the aircraft, frames dip a little bit, 46, 47, but we don't spend much time outside of the aircraft, do we? And it's still nice and smooth for me. Um, so here we are, as you can see, at Newcastle there. So the one thing I was, um, just to make clear is about capping your frames so i think that is quite important and there is two ways to cap your frames you can cap your frames either through the nvidia control panel um, or you can do it in the user config file for microsoft flight sim uh, itself some people say you should cap your frames at 50 percent of your monitor's refresh rate um, for me that would still be too high um, and may cause me some tearing so for me on my 3060 in my system i cap my frame rate at 30 meaning that it will then double up to 60 frames and give me a nice stable environment i hope that has helped some of you um any other questions please do ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching and happy flying everybody